Hello and welcome to another uncut process video. I have my little art journal here, which I'm still loving, mostly because of the size. It's just so nice to hold in your hands. It's just the perfect size for me. I have all my materials here. If you want to know more about this little art journal, please see the playlist below. And today we're going to continue working on the title page because I'm still not happy with it. <laughs> so this is it. If you've seen the last two episodes, you will know my struggles with this page. It's amazing. I don't think I've ever had so many struggles with a page. I appreciate your comments so much on the last uncut video, which is now quite a while back. I think it's maybe about six weeks ago. And I want to go through some of those comments and see what we can do to fix this. <laughs> I have my laptop here with your comments open. So let's go through some of the suggestions and see what might work. So we have a long one from Angela Wilson, 7206. So thank you so much, Angela. So Angela writes, okay, here's a few things to think about. I'm no expert, but I do watch Louisa. I love that preface. Watching Louisa, I know, already gives so much inspiration. It seems to me that you want this page to announce, introduce, and lead to that first page turn with anticipation. Yes, that's exactly correct. So why is this little page not kinetic, dynamic, quirky? It doesn't even give you a peek. It does have a reveal at the top, this here, but I think that by continuing so much pink, it's like a continuation of the page behind it, so this one, and it transforms the flower into a giant white eyeball, a weird one, shape-wise. <laughs> smiley face. Really, I'm just thinking of your wonderful little pages in your planners. I look forward to seeing what you will come up with each time. Also, I'm thinking of Louise's color bridges. Wait, there's nothing on the page from the left. How is the eye supposed to travel across all that pink to that one bit of blue denim? <laughs> this is so funny. Hop a bus, tiptoe across black splatters. <laughs> By the way, what happened to Barbara's rule of three? Such a valid point. That bit of denim and the hand-stitched heart are awesome though. And the picture of your parents totally belongs, of course. And the gold is great, which is here. You can see it when I move it a little bit. These are you, your announcement, your introduction, your page turners. Now, what else? Okay, so Angela's points are super valid. There's no color bridge here. We have this piece of turquoise here. We have nothing turquoise here. We have the denim here. We don't have any denim here. I'm still not happy with this empty space. It's, I mean, it's not totally empty, but it, it has these white splatters, but it's still not working for me. And uh, I should probably just let it go, but it's the first page. If this was a page in the middle, it wouldn't bother me so much, but it's the first page. And as Angela writes, this page should announce, introduce and lead to that first page turn with anticipation. I don't know what to do about the eyeball situation. <laughs> I could potentially draw that flower here would probably still look like a weird eyeball, but that wouldn't really help me, I think, with the page issues I have here. But what we could maybe easily do, and somebody else also wrote, maybe I can find a comment later, that these numbers here are kind of distracting because they are so bold that they're taking away attention from this photo. That is also correct. Let me just move my laptop a little bit. So we can easily get rid of this and take these out. But I think these could actually help us. So these are punched out from the same material as this is, which was hanging on the wall of the Art Journal Festival. And everybody 
contributed and added some random paint to this huge piece of cardboard. And everybody was then allowed to tear off a piece to take with them. So I have this piece here and I have these that I punched out at home later. So I have the same turquoise here, which is here. So I could in theory just add this maybe even here on the tab like that. That would give me a color bridge and I'm liking that. I'm looking through my mirrored video image, which looks different than when I look at this from the front, because through the mirrored image, I see it from the top, like you're seeing it. And it actually looks different than if I look at it from the front like this. So I think that would help with the color bridge situation. So let's do that first. And I'm just thinking maybe I should stamp something here. I kind of want to stamp love here that would match with the heart and with the love story of my parents. But I'm worried that it would take away from the title art journal, which is actually not prominent enough for me. So I'm not happy with this. So maybe the solution would be to cover this with something else and to add art journal somewhere up here more prominently. Let me start off with stamping love here because that's something I really want to do. I'll take my 12 digit roller stamp. I will link one of these for you below in case you're interested. Although they are a bit fiddly to work with, but this stamp has the smallest letters. So I think that is the best solution for this little tag. The wheels are a bit hard to turn. I mean, they're, they're not hard to turn, but they're so close together that it is sometimes hard to get the right wheel. And it's very hard to talk and find the right letters. <laughs> we can do this. Come on. L-O-V. I need a V. We have some love. <laughs> Always good to have some love. Okay, I'm going to do it practice stamp. That's not bad. Let's try to stamp it a little more regularly. Okay, that is cute. Now, how do we attach this? We need a hole or I could just stitch right through it. Yeah, let's do that. So let's find a thread color. I think I'll stick with a similar color to this turquoise. I think the closest one to that I have is this one. Or should I stick with the pink? No, I want the heart to stand out. Let's grab a needle. I need a pokey one because we have to poke through the jeans material. Okay, let's start from the front and I'll just sew right through it. Right on the edge here. And then I can just tie off the ends in the front. So I'll just go through like two or three times. Actually two times I think will be enough. Okay, and then We'll just tie it off. I'll 
just make a double knot. And how long do we leave these hanging? Okay, so now we have a color bridge. That is good. What do we do with this title? Okay, so I've done this off camera because that would have taken too long. I took this die cut set by Sizzix and Tim Holtz with the number 665924. The name is Alphanumeric Theory. And I took the smaller alphabet here. And this would definitely add some quirkiness. It makes the art journal more prominent. I like it with the overall look and I just need to get rid of the art journal underneath here because I don't think I can peel it off. It would completely destroy the papers underneath. I have some more of this background paper here in my ephemera folder. Or I should say my collage fodder holder. If you want to see how I made this, you can find that video linked below. So it's from these papers. So if I could just cover that up, that might be the solution. So let's cut a piece. Let's go this way. This is super fiddly. I don't like fiddly. <laughs> okay, I need to glue things down because this is going to drive me crazy. Anyway, you get the idea. I think this is so much better. Okay, I'm going to glue these on off camera because that is super fiddly and um, I don't think I'm going to be able to talk and glue at the same time. <laughs> What do we think? It's definitely more quirky. I am so much more happy with this. You can hardly see that we had the art journal here before. We have our color bridge. Yep, I am happy with this. Now I can't stop seeing this as an eyeball. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> but it's okay, actually. It makes me laugh. I think this is all it needed. I'm happy with this now. But I do think we could have another color bridge with this pink here on this side. Because I do have these. So this one has a very similar neon pink to my heart. How could we add this here? Or do we just add one of these reinforcements? That is the tiniest bit of pink. <laughs> There's also this little tag. No, that's not really enough pink. Or maybe two tags. Not sure what the point of two tags would be. No, that is weird. Just not sure how to add this tag and what the purpose is. It would need something on it, like some stamping of numbers or something to give it a reason to be here. I don't know. Hmm. I just had another idea. What if we don't do that? I have some more of this neon pink right here and I have a heart-shaped punch. Let's give that a try. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Yes, but I think this needs to be inked up. So let me grab my little dauber. What do I want? I want walnut stain.
Or should it be two hearts? I have this piece here, which also has the neon. Let's try that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, and Angela mentioned my rule of threes. That is totally correct. I don't have that here at all. That might be a reason why. I have the feeling it's not balanced. Okay, let's glue these down. I feel like I need to put something in this pocket with also like a vintage or black and white image to kind of balance this image here without taking away from this image. Not an easy task. What about this envelope on my printable? Let me try cutting that out. I'm not sure this is the solution. This is from my Keeper of Memories kit. Mm, I mean, it has similar tones. I'm not sure that's the solution. I'll leave it in there for now for a lack of a better idea, but I definitely think there is huge progress in here. I'm loving this page finally. So thank you, Angela, for that inspiration. So another comment I would like to share with you has nothing to do with this art journal, by the way, because I mentioned in the last video that if you are making journals and you don't know what to do with them and you would like to consider selling your journals, I mentioned that Liz, whose YouTube channel is Liz the Paper Project, all written in one, no spaces, sells consignment journals on her channel. So you could send her your journal and she would sign it and take a commission for it. And I wasn't sure if Liz was still doing that, but she actually watched my video and said, hi, Barbara, what a cute journal. Thank you, Liz. I truly love this style. Thank you so much for the mention. I do appreciate it. Yes, I'm still on YouTube and doing consignments, smiley face. So that is still a thing. I will link Liz's channel again for you below. Maybe you can check out some of the other consignment journals that she sells. She also does other projects on her channel. So go have a look at that. And maybe that's something you want to consider because I do get comments from time to time from viewers saying, I love making journals. I've gifted so many of them. I don't know what to do with them anymore. So maybe that is an option for you and you could actually make a little bit of money from that. Wouldn't that be cool? So I came across another element I wanted to add to this little journal. That is something I received in Happy Mail. Which is this fabulous envelope, which is obviously handmade. So it has this beautiful crinkly paper here in the back which is co coffee dyed and then on the front I don't know if this was printed or if this was bought could have been printed on vellum paper I don't know but I love this crazy image but now that I think of it it would be a shame to cut this up I think this needs to go in a larger journal because first I considered just cutting out this part here because that is the the perfect amount of quirkiness for this little journal but now i kind of feel bad taking this lady off the bird because that image is just awesome i can't do it i can't do it okay so we have to go with something else i have no plans on what to do so let me rummage through my materials here Is there anything here that inspires me? I have lots of 
butterflies. More butterflies. Do you think I have enough butterflies? <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed i rarely use men in my artwork i just think women are so much more interesting than men for some reason i don't know what to do This pamphlet here is from the Art Journal Festival that I attended. He's quite interesting looking. And these images were created by Christine, who is this lovely lady right here. These were the hosts of the Art Journal Festival. She's also awesome. Not into him so much. These are so gorgeous. These are gorgeous as well, but a bit too big. Maybe these need to go into my planner. Should we do something with this guy? I really think he looks very interesting. Oh, then I have to cut into her. This is always the problem, right? Oh, she's also gorgeous. Oh no, I can't have both don't really want to make a copy of this now. No, I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to stick with this guy. I'm so sorry. Okay, shall we look at some more comments? Okay, I have one here from Christy Steenson7163. So Christy says, I love, love watching your videos, but I do have a recommendation. I enjoy making journals and ephemera and would love to watch and see your ideas on a grungy Halloween junk journal. My favorite holiday, and I haven't seen too many people do this. I watched Louisa Heinzel's Halloween book and it was amazing. And I believe yours would be amazing as well. Interesting. So another mention of Louisa, which makes me happy. And yes, if you have not seen Louise's Halloween journal, oh my goodness, please go have a look. It is absolutely, utterly breathtaking. Like, I can't even. Keep up the fantastic work you do. I watch every day and I will continue to watch because you are an inspiration to many people. Thank you so much, Christy. That is so, so sweet. I don't think I'm going to make a Halloween journal. I do in the meantime have a Halloween paper in my shop in case you haven't seen that and you like creepy, you're welcome to check that out. I will link it for you below. They are journal papers, so there's no ephemera to go with it, but there are, I think 12 journal pages. They're too creepy for me. <laughs> and the thing is, I have photos of people there and I love the photos. Those don't creep me out. But the journal pages themselves creep me out because they look for me like something that came out of a vault that was closed for hundreds of years and you have all the dust and you have the skulls and everything. And I don't know why that really creeps me out. So I don't think I'll be making that kind of a journal. Maybe I'll make a Halloween page in my planner. That I could imagine doing. Okay, so we have this very weird guy here. He's probably going to need some wings. But first, let's find a page to add him to. Oop, there's another butterfly. Oh, no, that came off here. Let's put you back on. Or was it here? Looks like it was here, actually. Oh, that totally doesn't want to stick. What? Okay, we need a different glue for this. I'll try this thicker PVA glue. Oh, 
Okay, so hopefully that will stay put. So let's find a page for this guy. Oh, that's actually not bad. Let's keep that one in mind. What else do we have? I forgot what these pages look like. I haven't opened this in weeks, but I'm still loving it. That's also kind of cool with the gold in the background. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me choose one of those two. So it's either this one, I like that a lot. Or it was this one, which is also cool with the white, but I think I like the gold better. Okay, let's work with this page. Okay, so shall we find him some wings maybe? So these are printed out on a transparency just with my regular inkjet printer and these are from my printable i can link that for you as well they come in color i just printed them in black hmm. I'm not sure what kind of wings does he need what shape Let's try these. And let's try these as well. I'm not sure if he needs darker wings. Darker is better. Let's take off the antennae. Okay, he keeps on moving, so <laughs> I need to put something else underneath here to make the page more level. Yes, better, better, better. And I'll also zoom you in a little bit. Okay, that's better. So this guy's holding like this strange vessel. I'm not sure what's happening there, but maybe we could change that because he's a very kind person. We're only adding kind people to this journal. So let's give him a big heart. It's a heart of gold. <laughs> Oops. Yes, I do like that. Does he need something around his head maybe? I don't know. I have this bowl of die cuts and things and now you're too close. Hang on. Okay, is there anything we could put around his head? This I think is going to be too large. You know, to like frame his head a little bit. These are all quite big. Oh, we have this here. We also have a neutral one. I think that might be a good size. Oh, we also have this jeans cogwheel. We have some flower petals. Okay, that might be... Oh, we also have this. 
That should give us some things to work with. We have more flower petals. These strange colors. <laughs> This might be too big, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, let's go with these. Okay. What can we do with this? I do like the idea of adding more denim. Okay. Maybe the heart should be a bit wonky. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Now, maybe something brighter. We can always dye this, obviously. Let's just think about the shape. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. That kind of softens him up a little bit. What about this circle? Kind of like a halo around him. Also interesting. Ooh, I do like that one. In a different color, though. Let's try this bigger one. Mm, it's a bit gloomy. Okay, let's work with this one. And let's add some color to that. Should we just make it gold? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's make it gold. I'll just use this eye zinc dye spray by Seth Apter. It's called Gold Mine. I think that's the quickest solution. I will dry this off camera. So, this is so beautiful. Okay. Oh, yes. It's a totally different gold than the gold I have underneath. There, that's better. But in this case, it does not really bother me. Yep, I'm going to go with that. So, let me glue everything down. Let's start with the heart. So this guy is going to remind me to stay zen, to not freak out when things don't go as planned. Then let's add the wings. I think I need a reminder like this in every single journal. <laughs> Do you freak out when things go wrong? <laughs> Whoops. I guess it would also depend if it's a personal journal. Maybe you would freak out less. I know I would freak out less if it's a personal journal or my planner. But of course, if it's a journal you're making for someone else and then, you know, you have something specific in mind and that doesn't turn. Whoops. Yep. See, I just wiped away half of the wing. That was not good. But this is my personal journal, so it's okay. But yeah, if this happens in a journal that you're going to give to someone, that's a different story, isn't it? So now I have to change this wing too. Look, that ink totally goes away with the glue. I didn't realize that either. Okay, then let's do the halo. Yeah, I mean, most times there are solutions. But yeah, I get it. If you're working on a project for someone and then you have the feeling you messed it up, that can be very frustrating. So I think we all need a Zen guy like this in our travels to keep us calm when things go wrong. I'm just thinking now because I see this here. This is, of course, the negative part of the art journal that I used in the front. So what if I just took the art and I added it here? Maybe not in white, but maybe even gold. Let's try that idea. So let's cut this off. Make this a little bit shorter. That has huge potential. Okay, let's 
do some more gold spraying here. Again, I'll dry this off camera. I like it, but I feel it needs more definition. So let's try it first with some walnut stain around the outside. But I also have the feeling the letters need more definition. Ah, but I just have an idea how to get that. We could just add another paper underneath. Yeah, because I'm not loving this background with it. So we need, I think, a dark background underneath or white. Let's try white. No, it's definitely not white. I have some polka dots here. Ooh, that could be fun. Yeah, let's let's try that. Or even give it a black frame. What do you say? I like it. Yeah, that's cute. Well, that was unexpected now. <laughs> I hope you have a journal where you can just play like I am now because it is so fun. I don't take enough time to do that. But when I do, it truly makes my soul happy. Now it's like a little tab. Oh, this is just perfect. I'll use my thicker PVA glue. What do you think? Yep, yeah. this is really good. This is a cute addition. I'm not getting very far in these videos, am I? <laughs> I'd like to read you one more comment related to the struggle of this page. This is a comment from Margaret Comilla 3318 and she says, I was a spiritual counselor for many years and if you were a client, I would ask you to look at the art in a contemplative way and find out what the message is. What we think of as fails are usually our best teachers. Yes, totally agree. From relationships to art. You made one comment that jumped out at me. My parents would be so happy to see I put them on the first page. Yep, that is something I said when I created this first page. Something there maybe. Like maybe it might make them happy, but maybe your spirit should open this journal. Sorry if I've overstepped. It is shared with love and is just my spirit being me. So I really appreciate your comment, Margaret. And it's always good to think about the message of a page and why didn't it make me happy or why does it make me too happy to have my parents on the front page here, center stage. So she says maybe your spirit should open this journal. And with this new layout, I must say it is my spirit that appreciates and love the page. I love seeing my parents happy together. I mean, who wouldn't? And I love giving them the stage of being front center here in my little journal because they definitely deserve that. And I have such loving memories of my childhood and our family life together. The whole page just gives me a beautiful, good feeling. So you're right. It's not about maybe making my parents happy to be on here. It's about me because it's my art journal and it makes me happy. So thank you so much, Margaret, for your comment. And it got four likes, actually. So viewers agreed with you as well. And actually, it would be really cute instead of this generic envelope to maybe put a copy of a real letter that my mom wrote 
in here that would obviously make it a lot more meaningful i should have letters of my mom somewhere that she had written to me not to my dad but to me which would also be fine because it's my art journal so i will search for one of those not sure where those would be i would definitely have to do some digging but i do like that idea and that would of course personalize it a lot more and i think i'm going to leave it at that for today i'm not feeling another page at the moment where is our quirky page that we just made here we are i'm very happy with this one it fits to the quirky style of this journal and i'm happy with this intro page now thank you so much for hanging out with me and still being here if you are i appreciate each and every one of you and your feedback love you guys Mwah. Mwah.